Thanks, Nigel, and thank you to CETA for having me here once again. Well, um, as most of you know, I'm a pretty optimistic sort of person, but I'm going to probably start on a bit of a negative, as, as many of you would have known. Um, this year, we went through an extraordinary event, and you know, we are a family business. Um, we started off, Nigel's talked about SMEs, and that's where we started 20 years ago in a ACO hut, three employees. So you can grow from a very small business in this state to, to what we see we are today. But on the 3rd of January, we went through a, uh, a fairly big challenge um, to our business, but I'm going to give you some learnings out of that today, but also I just want to touch on the positive. Just because you hit a, a speed bump um, in your business doesn't mean that you can't still forge on, and then I'll sort of close and talk about some of the really great positive opportunities that I'm seeing here in South Australia. So just play a short video. So watch that, it's still pretty raw to be honest with you, um, to think to see 20 years of your life, um, your family's life, all of your employees and customers um, be disrupted like that. But you know, you can't just sort of fall on a heap. And you know, I asked myself on that very next day, you know, what do you do now? And it was pretty clear to me, you know, myself, uh, David McKay, who's in the room, my right hand man, we had to have a plan. We had to be able to communicate clearly. We had to be visible with our people. And most of all, we had to show some pretty strong leadership. And I must say, it's been the most surreal experience to go through. Um, at one end, very humbling, because we're normally on the other end of the, uh, on the stick there of helping out in tragedies. And we've seen, unfortunately, many of them here in South Australia and Australia, and we're normally on the other side. But you know, the, the help that we got, particularly from the government, um, a lot of people like to give the government a bit of a a bit of a kick every now and then, but their emergency response teams were incredible. Um, as were our own people um, in the first instance, our own employees, but the way the government kicked into gear, the various agencies collectively worked together, didn't fight, it was amazing. Leon Bignall at the time, uh, Medi Jury, who set up their response centre, was absolutely um, incredible. And even we'll hear from the Premier a bit later on today, and he came and visited us in April. You know, his support and his government support's been quite, quite humbling. So a lot's been achieved in the last six months. Um, today's day 177. Why I know that? Because I write a daily blog to our staff since that first day, outlining what's been going on. As you can imagine, there's a lot of people's lives that have been turned upside down. Uh, a lot of people that are unsure, and that's, that's unavoidable. But even for my own well-being, you'd hear a lot, we talked about less than 24 hours. My main concern was our employees, it still is today but my own welfare, just talking about things. And I wanted to remember what happened on day 14 or day 20 or day 100, because um, there's been so many positive things out of this um, tragic event. And it's not a crisis. Many people revert to a crisis. It's not. It's simply just an interruption, because we have a very big business outside of um, South Australia. Murray Bridge was a bit of a jewel of a crown for us, but we have a big business, not only here in Australia, but also overseas. A lot of the key points that we've done, you know, we re redeployed nearly every person. Every single person was offered a job and nearly every one of them have taken up or have been redeployed somewhere else. Only a very small amount haven't been able to take up that opportunity. And that's sometimes for a very personal reason. We've shared with other industries, you know, the mining and so on. We've been able to transfer some people, transfer some skills, which has been fantastic. You know, our employee welfare package, and a lot of people have these things sitting on a shelf in business and say, oh, look, if something happens. But, you know, we've gone through firsthand through an event where we've been able to use these. You know, we set up a community office in Murray Bridge. We're not going to leave. As I said, I committed day one to rebuild. You know, we'll be back bigger, better and stronger. So these employee and community welfare, you know, in, in times of tragedy, we have to give back to the community. They supported us for 20 years. They're going to go through a hard time. So it's been quite, um, quite an interesting and emotional, but also a very positive um, outlook. And I guess, during that period, we've still invested $30 million in our business. You know, we haven't stopped. It didn't stop. You know, Lobethal's been the benefit. We've doubled the workforce there. Um, there's been some upgrades at Tamworth. Our national domestic businesses continue to grow. So we haven't stopped. Um, you know, this was a little bit of a, a, little bit of a hiccup, but it certainly um, was an interesting time and will be. But the really positive thing is, I said, we made a commitment, my family, our, and to our employees that we will rebuild. And a decision on that at Murray Bridge is imminent, I can say. Whilst I'd love to stand up here today and 
tell you what we're exactly doing, but what I can tell you, a multi-hundred million plus several hundred million dollars worth of investment will occur in Murray Bridge. There will be 1,500 plus jobs reinstated there. And when I hear and listen today with BAA, a couple of other, you know, thousand, you listen to the disability sector with a cut, you know, 6,000 jobs perspectively within that, yeah, it's a really bright future for South Australia. Um, you know, and we look at the Adelaide Airport, what that's bringing in, and Jeff and Simeons and all the opportunities. So out of this negative, there certainly is, there's no doubt, there's an absolute um, positive. And if I look just touch globally at the moment, what I'm seeing in our business, you know, during this time, we've opened up uh, an office in Japan. Um, our business in China is going from strength to strength. The US business, you have a look at, if we leave Trump to the side and all the goings on there, their economy is incredible. We first invested in the peak and the height of the financial crisis and people think, why would you do that? But our model is we needed to get closer to our customer and Nigel, um, Nigel uh, it, you know, touched on that. We don't have the time today to go through my whole strategy, but what I can tell you, you can run a global business from Adelaide, from South Australia. And, and that is with the support of all the regional, so our business, our core business, which is food processing, is supported by regional Australia and regional South Australia. Um, and we're there trying to feed the world. So it's an incredibly um, rewarding industry, despite what we've been through this year. Um, I'm still very bullish, and if I look, um, you know, I still see the same for South Australia. There's many, many businesses out there that are going to be able to capitalise on this morning's announcement or the announcement. You look at the, you know, and I've taken, Jeff, particular interest in digital um, 4.0 because when we rebuild our plant in Murray Bridge, it will be, and I want it to be world class, best in class. And I'm talking not just in Australia, but globally in food production. And, and these are the sort of companies that we're going to have to collaborate. And we're looking for suppliers that will be able to deliver on our vision. So, you know, there's some wonderful, wonderful opportunities. Um, and I'm proud, you know, that we're going to be making that uh, investment here in South Australia. Uh, so, look, really, just in conclusion, because I'm going to get us back on time. and. Uh, I want to thank everyone for their support. Uh, many people in the room here have actually you know, reached out one time or another. Um, I'm incredibly positive, uh, the outlook, um, the food sector in general. Our business does extend more than just um, red meat. We're in produce and seafood and, and various other areas, dairy. So um, South Australia, we've got a great competitive advantage in this and, and that's something I'm proud to be flying the flag um, every day of the week. And I you know, just got off the plane from London on Monday night, and uh, Mark, I can tell you, it's just a pleasure coming into uh, into that airport because, you know, without trying to knock Sydney, getting on that bloody bus every time I come back in is a real pain. So I hope we can get more flights. Um, I can literally be home in 25 minutes, um, you know, and that airport hotel will come in handy because I know I come in on some late ones and off early sometimes, so I might need a room occasionally. So, you know, having a world-class um, airport, a world-class shipbuilding industry, um, a great food sector, great wine sector. You know, as I said, I'm going to start on a little bit of a negative. We've just had a, a minor, a blip, but we've got a wonderful opportunity. And you know, I'd hope that people can learn from our experience and and see the opportunities, no matter what industry you're in, the opportunities that you can do here from South Australia. So thank you very much.